Hey, Violin Ones, this is Roar. Um, so I want to point at a couple things. So first of all, uh, anytime you see D-I-V, that means divisi. So you are not responsible for playing both of those notes. Violin, uh, the person on the right-hand side of the stand will play the top note, and the person on the left-hand side will play the bottom note. So for example, in measure one, the person on the right will be playing that high B, and the person on the left will be playing the D. Also, we have these glissandos. Anytime you see that line connecting the D to a G, that's the glissandos. So remember fourth grade when you were did this? <laughs> that drove me nuts. Well, you get to do it now on purpose. So uh, you have to shift for it. So we're going to start with, see, third finger on the A string. Um, and then you're going to slide to until you hear that G pitch. So here's your D. And if you can end with some vibrato, it's really going to make it sound nice. So listen again. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try to play both parts, but you don't have to play both parts. Here we go. Three and four and. Practice along, see how we can do.